One year ago, I decided to make the switch and leave one of the biggest brokerages in the world, Remax, and move to this relatively unheard of new company called eXp Realty. Here's how my life has changed for the better or for worse. Prior to that, I was at Remax for a great seven years, and I switched because although business was great at Remax, I ultimately became the number one listing agent in that particular office. My last couple of years with Remax, I wasn't waking up inspired, I wasn't waking up excited, I don't feel like I was learning anything new and definitely not doing anything outside of my comfort zone. So when I was looking into other brokerages, I noticed that a lot of the other brokerage firms are structured the same way. The common complaints from agents would be high splits, revenue stream limitations, a lack of training, or wanting a different and more supportive culture. So I started looking at brokerages that were different. And I'd heard about eXp Realty for over a year through different colleagues, different people in different markets. And these colleagues were leaving to eXp and saying amazing things about it. So I joined and I didn't make my move over to eXp Public for a couple of months. Um, I thought it was important to take some time to try out the brokerage for itself first. Quite honestly, I was surprised about all the revenue streams that were instantly at my fingertips, but I know for all of you viewers, you probably want to know about the splits, how much I'm paying as far as fees and the commission, so we'll be sure to get into that first. And I was pretty amazed with how low the commission splits are for everything that's offered. You're on a 100% split, so 100% to you and 0% to the company, after you've made $80,000. So for your first $80,000 in gross commissions, you're paying a 20% split to the brokerage. So it's 80-20 for the first $80,000. That's a cap of $16,000 going to the brokerage. So $80,000 times 20% is $16,000. And after you've made $80,000 in the company, you're only paying a flat fee per each transaction. It's $285 per transaction in my particular part of Canada. In the States, I believe it's about $220 per transaction. You may wanna just look into that with your local support. Otherwise, there's a $199 startup fee to join the company, and the monthly fee is only $139 per month. So if you go a couple of months without doing a transaction, you're only paying the monthly fee. And this is fairly competitive when you compare it to like Remax or Century 21 or Keller Williams. But here's an incredible add-on. It's if you become an icon agent at eXp by achieving a certain production level around 25 transactions per year, depending on your average sales price, then the $16,000 you paid in splits to the brokerage is converted into stock to you. So this means you receive equity in the form of shares for being a high performer as something that you're already doing, which is helping buyers buy and sellers sell, which leads to benefit number two. And this was another surprise after doing my first transaction at eXp. It's that the company had actually given me some stock. It's a publicly traded company on NASDAQ. You can look it up on Google search eXpi. So there's five ways that you can earn eXp stocks. The first is on your first transaction, the company just basically gives you shares. Then you earn shares when you fully cap, you've made your $80,000 in gross commissions, and you even earn shares when an agent that you sponsor closes their first transaction. So they feather in ownership. And what I mean when I say sponsor is I mean an agent that you've brought into the company. The fourth way to earn stock in the company is through the Icon Agent Award, like I mentioned earlier. And then finally, the fifth way is through the Agent Equity Program, where what happens is when you join eXp, you can enroll for a program where what they do is on each commission check, they take 5% of your commission and they give you stock at a discount at 10%. And here's something neat that even most eXp agents probably don't know about. You're very welcome. You can open this neat iPhone app called ShareWorks anytime and you can check how much stock you have in the company. It's nice, it simplifies things. So to summarize, at eXp Realty, there are three major ways of earning revenue. We've covered the first two. Um, the first, of course, being selling homes, your main revenue stream. The second being earning stock in the company. So as you're selling homes, as you usually would, the company is rewarding you with stock. And then the third major way of earning revenue is my favorite feature, it's called revenue share, which basically means the company is compensating you for bringing agents to the company to help the company grow. So if you are to bring an agent to the company, the company actually has a compensation plan for you and they pay very, very well. So when I was at Remax prior, if I were to bring an agent to the company because I believed in Remax, I was not paid anything. However, for each agent that joins the company, you are paid 
$2,800 if they cap. So if they make $80,000 of gross commission that year, you're gonna be paid $2,800. This is my absolute favorite feature about the company. My first revenue share payment was directly deposited into my bank account one day and I was like, where did this money come from? It was like Christmas. It wasn't stock, they paid me a direct deposit right into my bank account. And again, I didn't expect it to pay this much. This is money helping to grow the company. I've always been someone who doesn't mind sharing some of my business practices. I'm the guy who will uh, let you come and shadow my listing presentation. And this is the company where I can give and get back some. So if you were to introduce 10 agents to the company who are all producing, you'll make $28,000 per year. This is residual. And if those 10 agents each bring one agent, you'll be paid a total of $60,000 per year, of which you're paid $28,000 from your direct agents that you brought to the company, and $32,000 from the people that they've attracted to the company. And this goes down seven levels, and I'm often meeting agents in eXp that are making six figures, even seven figures of passive income per year residually because of all the agents that they brought into the company. I'd like to quickly highlight a common misconception, which is that you must join eXp with the person who first introduce the company to you. This is not true. I have people in my downline, so people that I brought to the company that originally heard about eXp from somebody else, but they ended up joining the company with me because of the way maybe I presented how it would bring value to them. And something I pride myself on is that the people who've joined me are all selling more homes than they were prior. Maybe it's accountability they need. Maybe they need to role play with someone. Maybe they need to be connected to somebody who has been there and maybe sold 300 homes in a year. And I'll connect you to the right people and resources. When it comes to submitting paperwork for your transactions, it's really nicely done. You get a nice app application called SkySlope, where what happens is you manage your transactions, you submit all of your paperwork. They've done a really good job with checklists as far as working with sellers, buyers. They know the particular forms that are required. And there you can go you know, upload amendments or whatever is necessary for your broker to thus review and then they'll give you a check mark saying that it's, it's approved and then there's access to kv core which is the crm and this alone is worth joining exp because this will save you hundreds of dollars every single month what kv core is is it's a state-of-the-art workhorse crm from um, idx connections to your website landing pages email and text marketing uh, voicemail drops it really does it all moving on to the amazing support and training uh, you have the opportunity to connect with the top producers around the world. This was a big plus for me when I joined eXp. It's not that I was just getting training from people in my local market. There's people in, for example, in luxury markets in America, like Beverly Hills, that I can listen to as they're talking about some of the skills which have helped them build their business. So you're connected to agents pretty much around the world and we're expanding to more and more countries every single year. The training really is top notch and I can go like straight to an expert with a question that's already been there and done that. And through this community, don't be surprised if you get some referral deals from another uh, province or even another country. I've uh, had two transactions over the past year that were pretty much referred out to me because they saw me as an agent who had um, some sort of a presence here in Toronto. Now let's take a look at some of the cons. Um, the cons I've been exposed to anyway are that the training sessions are not recorded. I didn't like this. Maybe they're recording it somewhere and they're kept in the back end. And there's a possibility that perhaps at EXP World, they're purposely not sharing the recordings in order to keep the attendance high. But there's, for, for example, our CRM KV Core, and they have trainings at EXP World that are particular to the CRM, but they're always, for example, at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, which is often a time I can't make due to other commitments. And I would just love, for example, if those trainings would be recorded. Hopefully some of the staff is watching this as well. And I'm sure this is why many people think twice about joining EXP is that the brand is not as established. Yes, it's growing very fast, but I'm gonna predict that it'll take probably about three to four years for the consumers to be aware of the brand. Uh, right now, the biggest players in my marketplace anyway are Remax, Century 21, and possibly Home Life. However, as long as you have a good way of delivering this message to the client that eXp is a good company, and this is pretty easy provided you have good communication skills, mention the fact that it's a publicly traded company on NASDAQ and we actually have better technology than most brokerages, then the consumer is okay with it because the really great news is from an agent speaking to you, maybe another agent, you probably already realize that the buyer and seller is choosing to work with you, not necessarily your company. Surprisingly, I think it's actually helped because one issue that I had being with Remax was that I was often competing with other Remax agents and a seller would say to me, Michael, 
I'm not going to interview you because I'm already interviewing another Remax agent. Or sometimes, believe it or not, people would even say, I've had a bad experience with a Remax agent. I want to use somebody new. So this gives me that different and fresh approach that some of the buyers and sellers may be looking for. Moving on to the next con, and that would be that when it comes to bringing agents to the company, it's a pretty straightforward process. You build a good connection with the agent and then the company pretty much sells itself. However, there have been experiences I've had in which I have attempted to bring an agent to the company. However, that agent has already spoken to somebody with eXp and that particular agent at eXp that presented eXp to them either confused that particular person, or maybe they showed them parts of the company that didn't appeal to them, or maybe they just gave them wrong information. So therefore, this agent is kind of close-minded to the idea of joining eXp or even considering eXp. And then of course, those conversations can be a lot more challenging. Let's be clear about something. Our first priority is selling homes. And that's the reason why eXp is still great and I would have still joined even if they didn't have their rev share program. As a matter of fact, I did not join for the revenue sharing program. However, um, it's been 12 months and I've actually built a good residual income, which I would have never expected back when I joined the company. So I've given you a handful of cons, but Really, it took me a while to come up with some of the cons. I had to spend a couple of days and reflect about the company and what my experiences were. And just for my opinion so far, the pros do far outweigh the cons. Now, the main downside, in my opinion, that stops people from joining eXp is that the fees are higher than a flat fee brokerage. However, if you're serious about growing your business and growing fast, then those fees are really are just the cost of doing business. When you surround yourself with a really good group and they're incentivized by your growth, you will get to the next level and you'll get there much faster. And then when you factor in the multiple ways to make income, if you're with other brokerages, you only have one way to make income with that company. And as an ambitious entrepreneur, like so many of you surely are, once you have those other income streams, you're very easily able to pay your eXp fees. This income stream really was an eye opener for me. I didn't know too much about it prior to joining the company. While I'm doing my daily job, I'm building passive income at the same time. There is actually an end game. Whereas if I stayed where I was at Remax, I would have still been selling homes 20 years from now. The really great news is that the company is a good fit for experienced agents, new agents, and part-time agents. If you're a part-time agent, then where do you want to be a year from now? Because if you're not with a company that has world-class training like this, will you eventually get in the business full-time? Also, one thing I want to mention is how learning to bring agents on board has really strengthened my sales skills that I need to transfer to my real estate business. I'm finding that I'm reading people better, I'm understanding people better, and it's making me definitely more skilled when it comes to like attracting buyer and seller clients, getting contracts signed, and of course dealing with objections. So it definitely made me a better real estate agent and this was surely an eye-opener. I may have not touched on every point about eXp. There's a lot to the model. So if you want further clarification, which I'm sure you probably do if you are considering joining the company, then, then do contact me. Of course, I wanted to keep this video somewhat brief. The best way to contact me is via email. My email address is michael at mdougal.com. I'll also put it in the YouTube description box. And don't forget to click subscribe, give the video a like. I post videos pretty regularly and I love feedback. So don't be shy. Please do put a comment below and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.